Richard Eng is 49. He's at the top of a cutthroat industry where image is vital. He's a Hong Kong teacher. Hi, 各位同學，咁又係我 Richard 喎。嗱，今次咧，我想咧教一教大家發音啊嚇，發音好緊要噶，因為呢一排咧 ，debris。Debris 係咩嚟嘅咧？嗱，你望望熒光幕咧 ，D E B R I S Debris 啊，誒 Debris。Richard is the original tutor king, the founder of Hong Kong's biggest tutorial college. His customers are teenagers like 17-year-old JJ. I met him after his final class at secondary school. Last day of school. Yeah. How does it feel? It's it's good. You're a free man. Yeah. Now what? Um, I will study. JJ's counting on Richard to get him through one of the toughest school exams in the world. Each evening, Richard prepares his students at Beacon College for the Hong Kong Diploma of Secondary Education. It's crunch time. The students' hopes of a university place rest entirely on next month's exams. Beacon College has 40,000 students. Their tutors are marketed like pop stars, supermodels, and even saviors. It's extraordinary to me how many students are willing to turn up for extra classes that they have to pay for. So no wonder Hong Kong students are top of international league tables for attainment. Back to school, this is a weird feeling. With four weeks to go until the exams, JJ's desperate for help. JJ needs better marks in English, or he won't make it to university. JJ's been coming for six months, on top of school, but most of the others have been coming for longer. Richard's giving them last-minute tips for their English oral. Richard talks about exam technique, and the students are spellbound. And she's talked for an hour and a half. This is a speaking English class. He was the only one speaking, and there was virtually no English. Thanks for letting us sit in on your class. Thank you. You talked for an hour and a half? Yes. Because the students, they paid such great attention. How come? The main reason is that the examination is during the year. It's fear, yeah, isn't it? The there's fear in their eyes. Yeah, it's a, can you yeah, see exactly. fear? Yeah, can, you, right. can you see yeah. fear in their eyes when you stand at the... Oh, I see worries more than fear, yeah. Are you finding it helpful? Uh, it's really helpful. Really helpful? Yeah. And I enjoy the class. You enjoy the class? Yeah, because I... What do you enjoy about it? I just, I'm curious. I like study and I can have more confidence. It's giving you more confidence? Yeah. I wanted to find out more about JJ's goals and what university means to him. It turns out he lives on the wrong side of the tracks, on the 19th floor of a public housing estate. You have a lot of pets. Yeah, I have fish, birds, and two dogs. Dude, that's, oh, they're sweet. <laughs> what are they called? Momo. Momo. JJ lives with his father, who works nights, leaving him with just the pets yeah. for company. And this is your room? Mm, yeah. And who sleeps in the top This one? is my bed. And whose is that? My father. Oh, you share a room with your dad? Yes. <laughs> OK. And what's he, what does he do? Uh, he's a driver. OK. Yeah. Like a ca taxi driver? Mm, taxi driver. What are these trophies? For volleyball. For 20, and you won it last year? Yeah. So is this a kind of... 
You're a champion volleyball player. Yes. Are you playing much these days? Huh? Are you playing now? Uh, no, because I need to study. When did you last play? Uh, January. So you haven't played for two months? Yeah, <laughs> but don't have Look, training. it's gone flat. That's how long you haven't played. Look, the ball's gone flat. <laughs> what is your dream, JJ? What is your dream future? <laughs> dream um, to be a PE teacher. OK. Yeah. And to be a PE teacher, you need to get you need to get good grades in the HKDSE and then a university place. Yes. If you, for some whatever reason, and I hope you don't, do badly in the exams, mm -hmm. what what kind of future will you have then? I, 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 Though it's part of China, Hong Kong controls its own domestic affairs, its education system, and its booming economy. For those who succeed here, the rewards are enormous. Richard collects his car from the garage on the way to class. How's it looking? Yes. It's a half million dollar Lamborghini Murcielago. Oh. Let's go. Okay. I'm starting to regret my decision not to be a teacher. <laughs> Do you ever feel that people look at you and think you're too showy and too flash and you shouldn't be driving around in a Lamborghini? If you work very hard and you think that you have uh, given everything good to your students or, in business sense, your client, then it's all right. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm to you. Thank you. Sir. OK. JJ's already in line for class. Three weeks to the exams, and the pressure is getting to him. You're looking a bit stressed out. You're feeling stressed? Yeah. Why? You're feeling sick? OK. JJ's ill, but he can't go home. Three quarters of Hong Kong students get extra tuition. If JJ misses lessons now, he'll fall even further behind. M-I-R-A-G-E, Mirage, right? Okay. Thank you. Hi, hi, no problem, thank you. After English class, JJ has Chinese language with tutor YY Lam. With the exam so near, YY is teaching seven days a week. It feels like everyone in Hong Kong who's involved in the exam system is under pressure, whether it's the students or the teachers. In Hong Kong, this situation is very serious because that time has really decided their career and future. Maybe I did this thing, 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 I did this thing. So this thing is a very serious problem. It's strong, you know? Don't forget to read, read, read. I've been reading for so many years. 出過最熱門嘅字一輯曬出嚟，有冇點讀啊？和住 W O 啊！Y Y Lam has more than ten thousand students. Richard gives him a share of the profits, and at twenty-five, he's a millionaire. J J is depending on his tutors to achieve his more modest aspirations. Racked with anxiety, JJ's ill and running a fever. He's gone to stay with his mum in her one-room apartment. To get him fit for study, she uses a traditional Chinese remedy. I didn't study at school, because my house is too cold. 
You started working at age 12. What did you do? How important is JJ's education? JJ's family chipped in to get him tutoring. His mum says last year only one student from JJ's school got to university. I joined JJ's father on his night shift. Hi. I'd wondered whether he put pressure on JJ, but he seems almost fatalistic. But JJ's really set his heart on being a PE teacher. I think that's why he cares so much. The great promise of Hong Kong's education system is that one public exam for all allows bright pupils to succeed wherever they come from. But how easy is it for someone from JJ's background to excel? Competing against students getting all the help that money can buy. Richards invited me to his penthouse to meet his family. This is the poshest elevator I've ever been in. Convenient here. We have Hong Kong there, a shopping area, and Chim Sha there. That's great. That's very good. He lives here with his wife Irene and his daughter Stephanie. She goes to a private school which uses the international baccalaureate. She won't have to face the Hong Kong exams. Bravo. That was fantastic. I feel like your dad's seen so many kids go through the exam system that he absolutely doesn't want you anywhere near it. The pressure that they have, it feels like so much more than we do. And it's not really an education. I guess so. It's more like cramming and then forgetting it. <laughs> yeah. What's your university plan? I want to go to the U.S. and probably like... Stanford. Uh, yes! Oh my gosh, if I got into Stanford, I would be like, ooh, <laughs> you know, so happy. What would you, and you would do English literature? So yeah, you know, hopefully. Richard's own upbringing was not like this. He was raised in a tiny flat on a public housing estate. Which far away, over there, Okay, on the right-hand side, it's yeah. over there, you yeah, know, that area. That's the western part of Hong Kong Island. I grew up over there. Did uh, you feel poor? Uh, were no, you aware I, that you were...? Um, no. Uh, when I was living there, uh, I didn't feel poor, okay? But now, if, we look, if I look back, actually the life was very difficult at that time. Were yeah. you the first in your family to go to university? Yes. You, you, and your, you or your, and your brother? Or? Me first and then my brother. Do you think that it now, in 2013, it's possible for a 17-year-old boy in a 200-foot apartment in a poor part of Hong Kong to get into university, to succeed in the way that you succeeded? Do you think it's still possible? It's difficult. It's yeah, I mean, that is difficult. In every four students, one will go to university and the other three will just um, stand outside 
and uh, then a sigh at the university door. Okay, then you know that they 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 think themselves losers, and this is a loser making factory. Yes, so this is um, the the way we look at people. Richard's got a point. Hong Kong's much praised system is a loser making factory. In fact, more than 80% of this year's candidates will end up without a university place. And I can't help feeling the explosion in tutoring makes things worse for poor pupils. Rich ones can afford more help. It's JJ's first brush with the exams. The real thing is almost upon him, and he's taking a mock to check his progress. What time did you get to sleep in the end? Uh, 12. 12? Yeah. And what time did you get up? Uh, 5 o'clock. Oh my goodness, you only had five hours sleep? Yeah. The materials and devices must be switched off and put it in your bag. Zip up your bag and put it under your chair. According to the clock in the hall, the time now is 10 minutes past 9. You may now start. The UK government wants to make its education system more like Hong Kong's. Watching these young people, I wonder if I'm getting a glimpse of the future. Is that all we need for the poster? Yep, we're done. Cool. Please print the poster and post it on our club's board after you finish it. Certainly. That is the end of task two. You now have 30 seconds to tidy up your answers. Time's out. Stop working. With the mock exam behind him, JJ's able to cheer himself up on the volleyball court. JJ's been playing for this team for three years, since he was 14. And it's amazing to see JJ playing. He's like a totally different person from the frightened, anxious boy he is in class. Here, he's a leader, he's physically confident, and the transformation that's come over him is amazing. JJ, how does it feel to play? JJ's a natural athlete. In Hong Kong's system, that doesn't count. I wish he enjoyed studying as much as he enjoys volleyball. JJ's called to say he's got the results of his mock exams. I've come around to watch him open them. In fact, last night I had a dream that I was taking finals again and I was horribly underprepared. So I think both JJ and I are anxious about these results. Have you opened them yet? Now? You don't know what's in them? I want them. You want to open them? Yeah. Go on, let's do it. <laughs> oh my god. You're nervous. But it's bad. It's bad? Yeah. How bad? How bad? The lot passed. Lot passed? Yeah. Many problems with grammar. 
Yeah. 即係如果淨係補習嘅英文都咁深，我諗去考試嗰啲真係。唔係考試考試易啲嘅。係咩？因為呢、這個因為 mock exam 特登係出難啲噶嘛。哦。但係你好多題都錯咯，係完全都唔掂唔得咯。Overall, how do you feel you did in this exam? How are you feeling about the mock exam? 誒、呃，我覺得個時間控，即係喺考試嘅時候個時間控制得我好多咯。誒、呃，同我平時喺練習做練習嘅時候，呢、這個時間控制咗你嘅情緒，令到你好似，因為我成日考考試嘅時候好停雞啊。It's the day of the last class before the exams. Richard's getting ready to say goodbye to his students. I saw JJ's yeah. results. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, how was it? Not very good, Not actually. Very good. My heart sank. Of the thousands of students who are at Beacon, mm -hmm. there must be a significant proportion of mm -hmm. JJ yes. types who mm -hmm who, on balance, are unlikely to make it to university. You're right, quite a lot, quite a lot of students are, who are desperate about the exam and then they come here just to try their luck. You know? It does come back to this paradox, which is, you know, the worse it is for them, the better it is for you and your business. Oh, yeah, yeah, as far as um, business is concerned, this is good, yes. Fear. <laughs> yeah, very good. Fear, I, yeah, fear. <laughs> fear, you're right. <laughs> so you, when you say that, you sound like a James Bond villain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I? Well, well, look, uh, I'm villain. Okay. A, wearing a gold suit yeah. saying fear is good. Yeah, All you need is a stroking a cat. I, I don't want to be like this, but in Hong Kong, it is, um, you know, the fact, the fact of life is this. Last lesson, okay? <laughs> When I arrived in Hong Kong, I expected to find eager students on their way to great things. But very few of its young people are going to have their dreams fulfilled. What's most typical of Hong Kong's much praised education system is not success, but failure. All the best and good luck with the exam, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, thank you. Bye bye, bye bye. So listen, mm. good luck. Yeah. It's been really nice getting to know you. Okay. All the best. JJ sat the real exams in April. He says they've gone well. He'll get his results in August. Wow. There is one group of people whose success is guaranteed. Richard and the Tutor Kings will soon be taking bookings for next year's classes. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe for more award-winning documentaries from the Unreported World team. We upload videos every Sunday keeping you up to date with content from all over the world.